Hello YouTube, are you looking for a simple, reliable, wireless backup camera solution for your car, truck, trailer, or RV? Well, I'm gonna share with you and review a system that I put together that I think works pretty well. <laughs> So recently I did some double towing, which means towing a small trailer behind a fifth wheel trailer. And with the small trailer behind it, I couldn't see it at all. So I needed some sort of a solution, but I didn't want to pay a fortune for it. And I wanted something that's going to work pretty well. Digging into wireless backup options online, I found there's a lot of inexpensive analog systems. They come with a little screen that you mount up on the dash of your car, and they come with a camera and a transmitter that goes on the back of your car. The problem with analog systems is that there's so much interference because of all the wireless technology these days that they frequently will get lots of interference or drop the signal completely. The difference of analog versus digital is just like an analog gauge with a needle that goes back and forth or a number basically, a, you know, one through 10 and the analog sends a modulated wireless signal, whereas the digital sends a digital video signal, ones and zeros. So with the digital, you either have a crystal clear signal or no signal at all. That's typically how they work. So I opted to go towards the digital solution. Looking at digital options, there's a handful out there that come with a transmitter and a screen that you put up on your dash, but they were very expensive. So I started thinking, well, how else can we do this? You can use a Wi-Fi network. All of our devices these days are iPads and Android phones and iPhones all have Wi-Fi capability. Why can't we transmit a video signal directly to one of these devices and use an existing device already and save some money on the, the, the car end, the video receiving end? So I started digging around and sure enough, there are a couple transmitters like this. Amazon, I got this little thing. This is a video transmitter and then you just need a little camera that you can plug right into it and transmit a Wi-Fi video signal. So we set this up in the back of our RV and transfer, transmit the Wi-Fi video signal up to an iPad that we hooked up on the windshield of our truck and we could see right out the back of the fifth wheel trailer. This little transmitter has a model 903W. I bought it on Amazon for um, $38. And then I went ahead and bought this little tiny camera that I strapped in the back windshield of our window of our RV. And I got this for $20. So under $50, we've got a wireless transmission solution that I can use my iPad and get a crystal clear video with. Let me show you how this works. So this is the transmitter. You see on the back here, the model number 903W, DC nine volts to 30 volts. So you can easily wire this directly into your car's power system, which is 12 volts normally. Um, on here, this is your, um, your, your power input and they're all labeled nicely. Video in, DC out, and DC in. So we can plug this in with a power supply that was provided this cable that I just wired into the back of our RV. So we've got a power source here. So that's our transmitter. Here's the little camera that we got, model EC170-11. Just this little tiny thing with this bracket on it. I bent this bracket up because I tape it to the back window of our RV and I just look at, point it right out the back, back window of the RV. It needs a power source as well, 12 volts. And this is the video out, which is an RCA cable. And of course, we use our iPad Air 2 for our video receiving device. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up now. So here's our transmitter. I'm gonna bring in the power source here and plug it right in. And you'll see what happens here. Oh, I'm gonna to have to switch it on. Okay, switching on the power there, you see this, uh, the power thing that comes on, the power light comes on, and then it switches to link. That means that it's broadcasting our Wi-Fi signal. Now, this is convenient. This little transmitter actually has a power out and an RCA out. So we can go ahead and plug this right into the camera, just like so, and the RCA in, actually. I think I said out before. So now this camera is broadcasting whatever it sees through this transmitter. Now we need a way to view it. So we're going to go to the iPad here. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to go to our settings, which I've already got up, but basically you're just going to go to your Wi-Fi and you're going to find the Wi-Fi network. 
The cool thing about this is through the app, once you get set up, you can actually change your Wi-Fi network name and even password for this camera. So now you go to the app that comes with the camera or it tells you where to go get it and it's called Wi-Fi AV, Wi-Fi Audio Visual, something like that. We look at it, look at that. Quickly it comes up, here's our camera right here. You can see the iPad right there. It's incredibly quick and um, almost real time. You see it on the screen there, there's my hand. I mean, it's, it's really fast. Um, and it's not really high resolution. You can kind of see it's, it's a little grainy and such. But there you go, you kind of get an idea that you can see out the back window. Oh, there's our plant pretty easily with that. A lot of reflection here. It's not a real great setup, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Inside the app here, you can do a few things. If you tap the screen here, you can record, take pictures, and then your settings right here are basically your Wi-Fi SSID. That's the name of the Wi-Fi network and the password right here. We can also go back and I can show you a few videos. So this is a video that I took while towing our boat behind our fifth wheel that I couldn't see from the truck whatsoever without this device. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how we set it up in our fifth wheel. All right, so here's our system all set up and running again. I've got it wired into this light right here. If you see, I turned that on. This is just, just one of those uh, reading lights in the back of our RV. I wired it into it, so all I have to do is throw the switch on the wall, and voila, we've got power to it. So I'm just going to tuck this up into a cabinet up here like that, and then take a piece of, of duct tape, put it on this, this bracket, and tape this to the back window. Now we can go back and pull up our app, and there we go. Maybe straighten out the camera a little bit. It swivels in there, and we've got a backup camera on the back of our RV. Now, we are pretty long. We're about 33 feet long on the RV, and then another 15 feet on the truck. So when this is at the very front of the truck, we did start to see a little bit of... Um, signal breakup. We started seeing some video transmission kind of jitter a little bit and dropped frames, but I found a solution to that. The camera came with a, about a 15 foot RCA extension. Now it actually didn't work directly with this video camera because the RCA ports are the wrong size. However, I went ahead and I just got some of these little RCA adapters so that we can elongate the RCA. Now the 15 feet wasn't quite long enough to get it all the way to the front of our rig. So if we put the transmitter at the very front of the rig and the camera at the very back, we're going to get the transmitter a lot closer to the front of the truck where our iPad is and a much stronger signal. So I went on Amazon and for a couple dollars I bought an even longer extension. So using these adapters we can plug these together and elongate the transmitter all the way to the front of the rig, just like this. If you're going to extend the camera to the front of the rig, you need a secondary power source to the camera, or you need to extend the power to the camera as well. You also need some of these female-to-female -female RCA adapters to increase the length of the RCA cable. My extension did come with an extension power as well, but I did not use it. All right, so here we are at the very front of our RV now, and I've got this wired in with another power source. So both the transmitter came with a power source and the camera came with a power source. So I wired the camera in back where I showed you before, and this I've wired it in yet again to another light switch. Flick the light switch on, and there we go. We've got power. So this, I can adjust the antenna so it points up, set it up in the very front of the the uh, closet there, which is up above the truck and only a, like 10 feet from the tr truck. This will connect and we can pull it up and once again, see out the back of the rig. There is a drawback to running the RCA this far. You're gonna get a little bit of interference in the line itself because it's not a shielded RCA cable. It's gonna pick some, some interference up. And in, in the case of this, you probably can't see it in here. I'll try to pull up some video that I recorded from it, but you get some lines that kind of move down the image. Again, we really wanna be able to see what's behind us. Are we safe to change lanes? And is there someone behind me? And also backing up, it helps with backing up. So we don't really need great detail. We just wanna see what's back there. There you go, quick, easy solution. You don't even have to permanently install it. Just run a cable right through the center of your RV. Great solid 
video connection to the front of your truck for $60. This solution could be installed permanently. That camera is a waterproof camera. You could put it on the outside of your rig. You could mount the transmitter somewhere kind of permanently and run the wires in the ceiling or something like that. And you've got a permanent wireless video camera installed in your fifth wheel. But for me, we, when we move, it's really easy to set up. If I want it, I just set it up and boom, we've got an awesome, uh, awesome video camera. So here's what it looks like in the truck while we're towing. We bought this cheap suction cup mount tablet holder again on Amazon for about $10. With the app, you can resize the image, make it smaller or larger or even zoom in. Although I'm not sure exactly why you'd want to do that. When you're recording, it does indicate how long you've been recording in the upper left hand corner. Here you can see a comparison between the recorded video and the video on the screen. The system obviously doesn't have the greatest resolution, but for what I intend to use it for, and on a smaller screen, it looks just fine to me. The app, although simple, which is sometimes a good thing, seems to work quite well. I have read some reviews, however, that the Android version has been a little more problematic. I did not try it out, so I cannot say. Video is recorded in some weird format that looks all squished when played on a computer, but with video editing software, I can stretch it to fill the whole screen. All right, so there you go. This is kind of a quick and dirty solution, but it works pretty well and it's very cost effective. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you install one, I'd be curious to know your opinion as well. Thanks for watching. We are the Mortons on the Move. We travel full time in this fifth wheel. Check out our website at mortonsonthemove.com for some more information about our travels and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can keep on making videos like this.